Hi, I am Max. Do you guys remember me? This time I am here to tell you about the cheekbone. Oh well. Our face would have been so funny if the cheekbone did not exist. Many functions and expressions of our face are happening because of this bone. So, it is quite important to learn about it. Well, Max was of great help, as he told us that our face takes part in plenty of expressions. For example, sometimes we smile like this, and sometimes we contempt like this, and sometimes we whistle like that. But all of these expressions together are possible with the help of our cheekbone. Let's imagine our face without cheeks. Do you think these expressions would have been possible? Obviously not. So our cheekbone, also called the zygomatic bone, helps in forming our face and plays a major role in chewing, mastication and even smiling. The word zygomatic comes from the Greek zygon meaning a yoke or crossbar by which two draft animals such as oxen would be hitched to a plow or wagon. Zygomatic process is occasionally referred to as the zygoma but this term usually refers to the zygomatic bone or occasionally the zygomatic arch. So what would be the more names? Some names are the zygomatic arch, the malar bone, the cheekbone and the yolk bone. So you can see here the zygomatic bones are two small quadrilateral bones present in the upper and lateral part of our face. As you can see that it has four edges, which is why it is referred to being called quadrilateral, quad meaning four. The bone forms the prominence of the cheeks, or we can say that it is a quadrangular bone of the skull that participates in the formation of the skeletal framework of the orbit and our cheeks. A very important thing to remember is that our zygomatic bone helps in the formation of two major things. Let's see what those two things are. As we know, this is the orbit. So the two things are floor and lateral wall of the orbit. The other are walls of temporal and infraorbital fossa. We know that the zygomatic bone is a paired irregular bone. It articulates with the four other bones of the face that are frontal bone and sphenoid bone, paired temporal bones and the maxillary bones. So guys, I just told you about the articulations of the cheekbone. Let me tell you a very important and an interesting thing. That is that in between these bones, there are sutures present that merely work as joints. They're immovable fixed joints between the skull bones and are connected by fibrous tissues or we can say Sherpy's fibers.